All right, boys, welcome to an absolute sweat game, all right? Now, he is using the 49ers. I don't know what playbooks he's using on offense or defense. I do know that he runs a cover four out of dollar, and that he likes to run the ball. Stretch, dive, and toss, pretty much it. Pretty much it. So there's going to be a lot of cutting out of his runs, okay? And so, give you guys kind of an idea of what I was facing at the beginning. You're going to see the few runs. Stretch, dive, toss. Stretch, dive, toss. Right here, what could he possibly do? I'm like, I was expecting a pass, honestly. But nope, runs power O. Runs power O, and we still get it blown up in the backfield. So, here we go. Cutting out quite a bit. Third and 13. First time he's coming on this gun. It's a gun doubles kind of set right there. This gives you an idea of who you're playing. He throws it at the user. But we keep note of the adjustments he does on offense. He streaks his tight end. We tried to glitch him right there. And then he has his running back on a little angle route. We keep note of that for next time because everything else was taken care of. Now, as I said, this is a dollar cover four drop contain. Okay, it's not cover four drops for two. It's cover four drop contain out of the dollar. No idea why he's running on defense or as far as playbooks. No idea why he's running on offense or defense. On offense, it, it could be a custom. I honestly don't know. But right here, X is just... <laughs> Laser beam of Tavon Austin over the top one play touchdown. I don't know if he had an outside third right there because usually I have practiced this against a quarter specifically, but I know it works against an outside third as a cover three bomb. And you see right there what happens. So he might have had in a cover three or might have had an outside third, not entirely sure right there. But again, stretch, 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 stretch. And we go to an empty set. Okay, third and five. I'm looking for George Kittle the entire time. Nobody else but George Kittle. So I go ahead and shade up and shade in. George Kittle is all mine, and he throws me a pick. Not only a pick, but what should have been a pick six. I don't know how we could get a little angle right there. But anyways, drive down the field again. Second and five, flood, 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 flood. Now, this guy has been using the safety the entire time. I know eventually I can get him to screw up with his user. And you can see right there, he leaves it. He leaves the streak. I keep mental note of that. I'm like, okay, he is going to leave the streak eventually. And he's right there. Again, he leaves the streak. So I'm like, all right, all right. We're starting to figure out that he's going to bite on a dig. So we just need a little bit more space to work the field right here. And I know if I can get him on that dig route, I'll hit the streak over the top. But right here, where it's just such a compressed field. It's kind of hard to hit him over the top when he can just work his way back to it. I'm kind of indifferent about this. I know the user is cracked this year. Like, it's not as good, I want to say, as it was. I want to say man 17. But it's pretty darn close right there. RB maybe could have hit RB. But we go to him throw it. I was actually trying to playmaker the little hit drop from B right there. I think it was actually a spot route. I, I, I don't know what was going on right there. I just simply wasn't playmaking. So... This is a very unique route combination, okay? I'm looking for RB, laser beam on the sideline. Devontae Adams, hold on to that rock for me. And right here, we go for an 0-1 trap. Now, I hit the RP above, but you see right there, the guy that was supposed to block him misses his block. What should have been a walk-in touchdown? Well, <sighs> you know how it goes. EA Sports is in the game. Right here, we're looking for X. We're looking for X. We see X is rolling. We see X is rolling, but he stops running his route. We get a little stick with Aaron Rodgers, and we get into the end zone. Now up 13 points. You know, field goals are hard to miss from this, but you guys are going to see later in the video. Sometimes in this game, field goals go nice and smooth up and down, but then there's other times it goes up smooth and then just all of a sudden comes down really, really fast. It's really inconsistent. You don't know what's going to happen with it. But here he goes, a trip set. Of course, what he's going to do, George Kittle, George Kittle, George Kittle, George Kittle, oh, 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 George Kittle all day. Empty, third and five. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. If this guy wants to go an empty set on me, we're going to go ahead and just take this away. We got the seams manned up. We really just got to worry about George Kittle. George Kittle, George Kittle, George Kittle. That is, again, another user pick. And you know what happens when they throw it at the user, what should have been a user pick. Eventually, they score. Now, this guy goes into a single back uh, bunch. I don't know what it's actually called. He goes split close. Now, I'm telling you. Bad user. I probably should have clicked off right there, but really bad user. So now I know what he wants to do, and here we go. This is what I was talking about. When they throw it at the user, you don't get animation. What ends up happening? What ends up happening? Tell me in the comments right now. Usually when you get a bad user, you get unfortunate animations. They score a touchdown. Now right here, he goes up, and he, gets the he drives down the field. I, I don't know if I end up throwing him a pick or something like that. I cut it out because it was just pointless to watch. Uh, so here we go. This is kind of what I was talking about. Sometimes it's nice and smooth up, 
And then other times it's just super fast down. It's super inconsistent. You don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know if it's lag or like a lag spike that causes that to happen. But there are some games where it's just nice and smooth up and down. And then there's some games where it's just like smooth up and it just zooms down. Like all of a sudden it's got a rocket strapped to it. And it's just going. Now, we kind of tried to glitch him out. We almost got the block. We almost got the block. Now, this is what pisses me off. He accepts it. But then later in the game, we get erupting the kicker and he declines that. Like, this is when you know. This is when you know you're playing a bot. Now, right here, I, was, I don't know why I was standing right there. But it rolls in. He gets a fortunate roll in. And we spy our safeties. I don't know what I was doing, honestly, on off defense right there. And, well, now he's going to be up three points, provided he doesn't miss the field goal. So, hey, you know, hey, I'm kind of rusty at this game. When this game was recorded, I don't really play Madden all too much. I, honestly, all these blitzing videos, and see, this is what pisses me off right here. He declines this. He declines this. But fourth and 13, nope. Except that. Uh, pff, scum. Scummy scum. So, again, I'm really rusty at this game because I don't just I don't play it as often. I know I, f I feel like just from my views and seeing a lot of other YouTubers, I feel like not a lot of people play Madden that much anymore. I know there's still some guys that are like dedicated to the cause and play like five games, six games a day. I don't know. Just with summer coming around, the river's kind of starting to get under control. I want to get outside more. I really am dying to get outside. And right here, this is what I was talking about. He leaves it for the dig route. I knew he was going to do that. I just needed a little more space. And Devontae Adams wide open for an easy touchdown. Like, that was literally a game of catch. I throw it, you catch it. That's all you have to do. Now, right here, I don't know how he's blocking my user. No idea if he's, like, some doing some sort of ID or slide. But right here, we prepare for the exact play I was worried about. You can see right there, we take away the anger out. We man up the tight end. And, uh, yep, that's a yick. Get up, Darnell. Get up. Nope. Okay, well. EA next year, if you guys can, like, hustle up the defenders to get up on their feet and moving, that would be very appreciated because it takes them way too long after, like, a kind of stupid animation like that to get back up. Sometimes they don't even get back up. They just lay there and act like they're dead. I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and go into bunch of And I know at this point the game's over with. Like, I, I know I can score if I want to. And I, I know I could just be, uh, you know what, and just run inside zone. I could have ran inside zone and no one trap literally this entire game and just ID'd his user all game long. But I hate playing like that. Okay, it's Madden 21. If this is Madden 20, then yeah, I'm absolutely going to be a bot and run the ball every freaking down. No chance on earth I wouldn't run the ball. Who wouldn't? It's, it was Madden 20. It was the best game ever. It was the most entertaining gameplay to watch. Professional Madden players run the ball, run the stretch, even if it's 4th and 50 or Blitz 8. I loved it. I loved it. Not. So right here, again, we're going to go try and just bait him from leaving the streak. You can see right there, wise wide open. And again, he leaves his streak. But the problem is, we're not quite far enough from the, red zone or from the end zone to be able to hit that streak. I know if I have that dig route from the tight end, or that little kind of double move post, I can hit that. But again, we're just we're so close. His user can get back quick enough and yeah, he can cover it. Okay, so that's kind of the issue right there. Why I don't throw that streak more often. Now, right here, this is just something I wanted to just try out in the red zone. A double slants, okay, with a flat route on both sides. And again, you can see right there, he leaves a wide open, leaving the streak open every single time. And we're gonna go ahead and try this 0-1 trap RPO. And Aaron Jones, thank you for following forward. A trap should just obliterate a dollar, especially if you are in a contain and not even pinching your D-line. That should just destroy it. And you can see right here, we are now up to scores. And at this point, I don't have a clue what this guy is trying to do, but you see, again, he throws me another Stevie into double coverage. We're going to go ahead and showboat. Kevin King, come on, get a little sticky. We probably could have got the outside right there and just sealed the game. But at this point, the game is pretty much over. But you know what? You know what? I want to just, just throw dots down and up and everywhere across the field. And here's the nice thing about rollouts, because rollouts make the curl flats not play to the sidelines. I don't know who or when that screwed up, but you know what? Clint Oldenburg, you did a good job on this game, so props to you, ma'am. Uh, yeah, that's really all I got to say. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can hit the streak again, see if he abandons it for the dig route. Last time he did, I'm going to see if we can catch him on it again, but instead we take this little flat route, and that's going to keep us in bound, keep that clock moving. I'm not a runner. I'm a passer, okay? Even if I'm up four scores and I'm wanting to chew that clock, I will pass the ball to chew the clock, and I'll just take my flats. Like, 
I could have very easily just ran bench pivot all game long and just motioned out B on that flat route. I, I could have been a bot like that. And like you can see right there, B's yet again wide open. A yet again wide open. What happens though? He leaves the streak for another wide open touchdown. And this time we try and fake it. Fake it. Fake it till you make it. But this time I fake it till you make it. Well, it didn't quite make it. So we're going to go ahead and just again stretch down three scores, okay? Stretch down three scores. I miss my user again. He falls forward. And now he's going to go five wide. I was kind of bluff blitzing user blitz. I don't really know how to use your blitz out of the big nickel off the edge very well. The A gap, pretty easy. Right there, I have no idea what happened. We just go ahead and let him have it. Darnell Savage somehow gets smoked over the top. Even though, I, if I recall correctly, I shaded up and out. <clears throat> Don't know what happened right there. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and look for Devontae Adams on this one play touchdown against a quarters defense. Okay, it's a prevent style of defense. You see right there, the outside third on the right side of the field doesn't play. And Devontae Adams gets open, but he isn't fast enough to get separation. So that's going to take care of the game. If you guys are new to the channel, we will continue on with blitzes. I am going to go ahead and start breaking down the offense. I think I've already got part one done. I'm probably going to redo it. Honestly, I didn't like how it was going. So keep an eye out for that. It's May. It is nearly June. Thank the good Lord it is almost June because that means it's only 30 more days until we go on a freaking vacation. And I am looking forward to to go into the beach. I am looking forward to it. Fishing for seven days in a row. It's going to be fantastic. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that sub button. Okay? And we will see you guys in the next video. I'm a